underline to the people of Zimbabwe, I said this earlier on. During the liberation struggle, ZANU used to have a slogan which said, we are our own liberators. That slogan is still relevant today, probably more relevant today than it was at that time. We are our own liberators. Please, let's not fold our hands and say, there's nothing we can do, because there's everything that we can do. Each one of us, starting with taking a commitment to liberate ourselves, and then to work together with others. It's important that we work together as individuals, as communities, but more importantly, as collectives of Zimbabweans. And my last appeal is to those who claim to be leaders in Zimbabwe. Political leaders, business leaders, civil society leaders, please let's work for the people. Let's not work for ourselves. The reason we don't have unity is not because the people are disunited. It's because the leaders are disunited. And when we abandon our selfishness, and we commit ourselves to serve the people, we will unite for the purpose of the betterment of the lives of the people. My, my message is to the youth of ZANU-PF, particularly Kudzai Chipanga and those that he lead, to the armed forces of Zimbabwe, the privates, to the constables of the Zimbabwe Republic Police, don't be used to intimidate your kinsmen. Refuse to be the agents and the perpetrators, the purveyors of the fear that grips our nation. But more importantly, to the people of Zimbabwe, have confidence in your right to freedom of choice. If you really genuinely support Robert Mugabe, vote for him, if you believe he is right for you. But don't do it because somebody is holding a gun over your head and somebody is whipping you up at night or somebody is denying you food relief. If we had had that view in Rhodesia, Zimbabwe would not be there today. People overcame fear. The Mabrakwachas used to come with big Alsatian dogs and set them up on people. And the informers, this is a very powerful force that Robert Mugabe uses. There's a saying that of every five people, two are CIO agents. Don't be afraid of the CIO because even they need to be liberated from their fear. But to the CIO operatives, every country needs an intelligence service that works for the peace of mind of the people, not to enslave and impoverish the people. So my message is, there may be no strict formula which says, wake up one morning and do A, B, C, D, but in our hearts of hearts and in our minds, let's overcome the fear that's been inflicted upon us by years of harassment and victimization. For these and other stories, visit our website, www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter, at 263chat, and like our Facebook page, 263chat.